to Balcony Views with BJ. Today's beautiful backdrop is courtesy of the sunny port of Aruba. Isn't it gorgeous? Man, I love this stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about today is something pretty important. It's insurance for your travel. Now, it's something that, honestly, when I first started cruising, I thought it was pointless. I thought it was just another tack on additional money that they could get out of your pocket. But since then, I've learned it's pretty definitely important. I'm going to show you in today's video why it's so important, why you should consider making sure you have some. Okay? So, <laughs> they're having fun down there. All right, so we're going to get to that. But before I do, hey, if you find this video helpful, click the like, subscribe. Maybe we can do something for you. Now, let's get to that insurance information. When I first started cruising, I wasn't one to pay all of the extra little fees. And honestly, that's what I thought vacation protection was. Uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't one to ever get the extended warranties on products or anything like that. So, you know, I just saw purchase vacation protection. It was $300 a person, or actually it looks like it's a room here. Uh, you know, that, that's a lot of money just for nothing. And at the same time, I also thought that this was only to protect you if something happened and your cruise didn't go. You know, for some reason you, you broke a leg and couldn't go or, or there was some kind of medical thing or, uh, you know, somebody passed away and you couldn't, whatever it was, for some reason you couldn't go. So that's what I kind of thought purchase vacation protection was all about for at least for Royal Caribbean. I don't know about the other cruise lines. Uh, I have cruised on uh, Norwegian. Uh, I did get the protection plan then. Uh, well, no, I didn't. Actually, I got travel insurance through my travel agent. Uh, one of the few times I used a travel agent because uh, we did a Hawaiian cruise on that. Uh, that was on the Pride of America in Hawaii. And it was a really expensive trip so my wife wouldn't let me even do it without travel insurance so we got travel insurance on that but yeah clicking this little button on Royal Caribbean uh, you know you can do it or not it's not the best insurance but it's absolutely not the worst the worst is not having insurance um, a lot of things can happen to you if you don't have insurance for your cruise uh, so I mean, you're talking about the difference of another $300 on top of a $4,000 cruise. So this is $300 to save you a lot of money, you know, and it's not just this $4,000 that we're talking about either. Yes, it can definitely save you if for some reason you can't go on the cruise, but it's also used for so many other things. Now, that's what you get the the uh, cruise information or the cruise protection with Royal Caribbean or even if you've got it with your bank or credit card or something like that although to be honest those are not the best policies they don't cover a whole lot but they will cover some the best policies are going to be with the cruise line although that's not the best deal or to go get your own uh, travel insurance independent there are uh, cruise specific travel insurance packages that you can get that can offer you a myriad of different things I'll be honest with you I couldn't even tell you what all those different things are all I do know is going without travel insurance is definitely a dangerous pop proposition and I'm about to tell you why it can be a bad thing and cost you a lot of money and honestly possibly your life we'll talk about that next if you're not a first-time cruiser have you ever been on the ship minding your own business maybe you're on the wave rider like I am here or doing something else and the captain came over this loudspeaker and said alpha 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 if you haven't heard that or you don't know what it means that's an emergency distress that means somebody has hurt themselves or is having a medical issue that is really beyond the capability of the medical staff there on the ship 
Now, we were recently on the Odyssey of the Seas. It was a few months ago. But in that one trip, there were four Alpha 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 calls. In the very first one, uh, coming up, you're about to see a picture of the dock when we had to turn around. We got a few miles out, and we had to turn around for an Alpha 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 so they could evacuate a uh, person off of the ship that was having a medical emergency. While we were back at port for that medical evacuation, another medical evacuation had to take place as well. They called a second ambulance. Then we got on our merry way. Uh, a couple of days later, we were going from uh, Coco Key to uh, Curacao. And in the middle of that uh, trip, uh, the captain came across the radio and said that we were going to have to have a medical evacuation via helicopter. So the Coast Guard had to fly in to evacuate someone because it was going to be too long before we got to Curacao uh, and they really couldn't wait. Now these are all medical issues that, that are major issues and beyond the medical staff on board. Now this is where your travel insurance is very, very important because those can be very expensive. Now turning the ship around and going back to port that might not have been too bad, and those people were let off in Miami, uh, which is the United States, so it was probably not excessively expensive there. However, this evacuation with the uh, Coast Guard, uh, that can be extremely pricey, not to mention that where we were, they probably did not go to the United States anywhere. They went to the nearest land, which was most likely a foreign country. Now, being repatriated to the United States and the, that medical evacuation from the ship to the land and then from that country back to the United States, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all. One example of this is from a story from 2019. It was all over the news. A man named Bruce was cruising in the Caribbean. Uh, while on the cruise, he suffered a stroke. And his wife took him to the medical facilities on board. They determined, yes, he has indeed had a stroke. And he was evacuated to Freeport, Bahamas, because that was the closest place to go. Um, once they got there, uh, Freeport had suffered a lot of damage from a hurricane. And they just did not have the facilities to properly care for the man. So he had to be evacuated from Freeport to uh, United States. Unfortunately, uh, it was going to be about $20,000 uh, for that evacuation, and neither he nor, wife, nor his wife had the funds for that. So it took a little bit of time, but they actually did have an angel donor that donated the money and was able to get him back to the United States. Now, here's the bad thing. Unfortunately, Bruce did pass away. Now, we don't know whether he would have passed away or not had he had the proper travel insurance because if he'd had the proper travel insurance it he may not have been delayed while he was in Freeport and we also don't know what kind of uh, uh, facilities they had and what kind of uh, care that he was being taken care of while he was there in Freeport so that really the travel insurance could have made all of the difference in that situation and one final example, we were supposed to set sail on June 4th of this year on Symphony of the Seas. However, Tropical Storm or Tropical Depression Alex, whichever it was, uh, had other ideas that delayed our cruise by one day. Well, we had flown down the day before and stayed in a hotel, but we had to procure another night in the hotel, plus we had additional uh, expenses for food for basically three meals there that we had not anticipated. Our travel insurance is going to cover us and pay us back that over a thousand dollars worth of uh, expenses there for our group of eight. See, that's pretty important stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something, and I hope you're smart enough to to follow through with that. Okay, it it, it can save you a lot of money in the end. In the meantime, this is BJ. 
That's my balcony views on this wonderful balcony view. I'll see you next time. Enjoy cruising.